What's up? What's going on? This is the George on Tap. What's on Tap on Sports Show. My name is George on Tap. As always, this is brought to you by Underdog and Rebet. Make sure you click the link in our description to sign up for these amazing sports books that will, will be really good for you to make some money. Let's start off with the World Series. The World Series is in a position where, man, Freddie Freeman is on fire. Minus 900 to win World Series MVP, and he's hitting the ball out of a ballpark. The Dodgers have completely taken control of this World Series. They've made the New York Yankees look like, well, shoot, Seattle Mariners, my favorite team. But here's the thing. The Yankees cannot hit the baseball. Aaron Judge has disappeared. Meanwhile, the Dodgers just hit the ball better than any team in Major League Baseball right now. They can drive in runs. Their pitching has been fantastic, and they have completely taken over this World Series. And if you're a Dodgers fan, you can smell the champagne, you can smell the cigars, and you're ready to take it and win this World Series in the first World Series in a non-strike or in a non-COVID shortened season in a very long time. This World Series is completely over, guys, and it feels bad for the Yankees, I know, but what can you do? We wanted a series where we were going to get at least, at least five, six, seven games, six games at least, and it might be over tonight. The sweep, the brooms might come out tonight, and the champagne in the Bronx is not going to feel the same for the Yankees fans. It's going to suck to see someone celebrating at Yankee Stadium, either tonight or tomorrow night. Hopefully, 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 the Yankees can do something and turn the series around. Aaron Judge is batting 9.091, like half the Mendoza line and under in this World Series. And I don't know, he's just lost it. And that's what happens in the World Series sometimes. Big pressure, big moments. And Aaron Judge just hasn't been up to it. I feel bad for him, I feel bad for the Yankees, and I feel bad for the Yankees fans, and I can't believe I'm saying that because Yankee fans, you've had a lot to celebrate, but you haven't had a celebration since 2009. 2009, for the Yankees, that is absurd. For the Yankees, that just simply doesn't happen. So, I, man, I feel like the World Series is over. Hopefully, the Yankees can win tonight, not because I'm rooting for the Yankees. I'm not rooting for anyone. I'm a Seattle Mariners fan. But I'm rooting for more baseball, more moments, and just in general, to see a longer series here. But um, the Dream World Series is almost over. Judge versus Otani, and neither one of them has really done anything. Let's talk about quarterbacks. Three kings, three jesters of NFL quarterbacks. And a lot of people want to say, hey, look at Patrick Mahomes. He's playing so bad. Patrick Mahomes is. The stats don't jump off this sheet. But if you ask Patrick Mahomes, I think there's only one stat he really cares about, 7-0. and And that's why I think he's still going to deserve to be a king today, king post-week eight. Because at the end of the day, the Chiefs are getting things done when need to get done. I know he's turned over the ball. I know his stats haven't jumped off the screen. But still, Patrick Mahomes, folks, he's still a guy that when defenses are preparing, they're preparing for Patrick Mahomes. Let's take a look at the three kings and three jesters of the NFL. All right, so we have three kings, three jesters, week in, week out of the NFL. Three kings, I know you guys are all going to probably disagree here, but Patrick Mahomes has to be still one of the kings. It's Patrick Mahomes. I want to take him off this so badly. But until they lose a game, he's going to remain a king. And I can't believe I have to take off one guy. We'll talk about him here at the end. My next king is Lamar Jackson. Don't care if he lost. That wasn't him. He didn't give up that bomb to everyone's favorite quarterback, Jameis Winston. But they did lose the game. Lamar still put up great stats. Lamar still got things done. He almost even got him back after that touchdown and got him into a place where they can uh, do a Jaden Daniels and do a Hail Mary and win the game. Just didn't end up winning. And the third king is Josh Allen. He's jumped to number one in MVP odds, so I had to put him there over Jared Goff. feel bad that Goff isn't there. He only had 80 yards last week, but he didn't need to really do anything. So in general, I do feel bad that I don't have uh, Jared Goff there, but those are my three... Kings, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes. No particular order. 
gestures. I'm going to go with Bryce Young. He's back missing wide open receivers. I saw him miss a, I forget who it was, right down the sideline. He had two touchdowns, two picks. He didn't look as bad as he usually looks, but he stills bad. And I feel bad for him, but just simply not a very good quarterback. Spencer Rattler. Well, he got benched, so I don't know if he's still the starter, but God, man, I was really high on Spencer Rattler. I thought Spencer Rattler was actually going to do something once he took over the starting job. In that first game, he looked actually pretty competent, but since then, Spencer Rattler has not been able to do ever, anything. I can't believe the Saints used to be 2-0. and And last but not least, Anthony Richardson. Man, the guy took himself out because he needed a breather. I've never seen a quarterback come out because he needed a breather. Anthony Richardson just doesn't seem like he has it. Two for 15. I know there's like three drops and they're all bombs. There's three drops in the first half. Maybe he went in five for 15 with like 160 yards in the first half, but still two for 15. Stats are stats. Anthony Richardson's no good, and he's my third jester on this list. So my three kings, Lamar, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, and my three jesters, Anthony Richardson, Spencer Rattler, and Bryce Young. Thank you for watching. This has been the George on Tap, What's on Tap show. We'll see you guys tomorrow.